What's up guys, Posh Creeper here today. Now, today, as you can see, here is my Lego city. And, right, <coughs> sorry, I have a bit of a cold. There, let me just move that. Yep, is my Armageddon boat. Now it's supposed to look like that if you guys think it's ugly, well, it's supposed to be. Now I'm in the process of making one just out of this, so it'll be maybe a little nicer. Um, but this is the Armageddon boat, so there's the little guy driving up there, and there's one more guy there. So, I'm going to get right into it, <laughs> so that I can, um, well, first of all, the battery's low on the camera, and so that, um, you know, you guys don't sit around. So, let me just move you out of the way. So here we have, get up, okay, so this is, it weighs a ton, it's pretty stable, so, you know, yeah. So we'll start in the front and work, work our way to the back. So here is if one of the guys wants to come up, if you watch Deadliest Catch, their fishing boats, or just lots of fishing boats now. These days, if they're big fish here, they use a spear and they stand up here and it kills it. And then it comes to this side and they pick it up. Okay, then we got some lights, the air intake, and then we have just a sleeping room. Up here are solar panels. That's what they're supposed to be anyway. Um, I don't know how well they look, so right there. And then here is the window where the guy sits. By the way, in here is the food. So let me just focus it. There we go. Okay, so this is where the guy drives the boat from. He has a thermal camera so he can pick up other boats and things. Um, obviously the stack, or the... Um, not stack the lights and the port and starboard lights. Um, the radar antenna and the radio antenna. Since it's ham, it's very tall. And then this is a wind propeller that can propel all the external lights. And then you come to the. Let's turn it around so you can see it better. This is the smokestack where, if they're cooking, this is where that comes out. Um, and then there's the radar, steering wheel, stuff in there. Ore and this thing. I don't know what it is. Just make it look weird. Backpack for another added detail and a um uh, what's it called? Railing. Can think of it. Then you come down these stairs. There's a pump which can pump on water and filter it, or you can turn the filter off and it can actually pump off water if the boat is sinking. Um, here you got more port, port and starboard lights, um, external lights. Um, here is also the rib, which is if they want to get from um short from their boat to shore, which they can. Just pick it up, and that piece stays there. You can't actually see, that piece stays there. And the rib was like that. And then it's got some lights on it. And then it goes in the water, dun dun dun, and takes the men to shore. And then you pick this up, go like that, and drop it. Just don't want to break it, it's very delicate. Like that, so it sits like that. Then we have a little crane right there. It's not much, it's just if there's a huge fish, it's a um, heavier or easier way of pulling it up. Then you have this, which is a spear, which also um, is meant for up here. Now these solar panels up here, those are built to power the um, all the radar equipment and the onboard internal lights. And then this is some extra fuel for this. This does take fuel, everything else is electric on the boat. And here's another driving area. If you want to drive it from a right here, if you want to see, like you could dock on this side. There's also a radar in there, two guns for you know why, and the storage of food. And then there's this crank thing here, which if they crank that 1,000 times, they get one hour of ba or 100 times they get one hour of battery life. So. That's pretty cool, which battery life can be for the boat itself, or you can switch it so it's for the lights. Same with the solar panel on this guy. And then if we flip it over, these little guys here and here are um, for, I guess, hydroelectricity. So as they go faster, the water, these move faster, which produces more speed or which produces more battery life so that when they need the battery they have it and that can run 24 hours a day. Um, that's kind of it. I thought it was hilarious when I was building it and I was watching Doomsday Preppers to get ideas. 
So I thought it was pretty funny, some of the things people do. And then you've got more food back here I didn't mention, and tools and stuff. So that's just going to go right there. Now, I am going to build another one of these, so maybe next week's episode will be this one. I'm not entirely sure yet, but it might be a Nerf one, because I haven't done that in a while. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share the video. Please, please, children, go check out Posh Creeper. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye!